The world loves being on the water for sports, for leisure, and for supporting the world's economy. Critical for protecting our nation's ports and for fueling our passions, let's see how one company is meeting the demands of the boating industry. Let's go with Intrepid Power Boats on the water. Previously on Intrepid Power Boats on the Water, we traveled to Hyannis Marina in the beautiful area of Cape Cod. We spent a couple of days aboard a Panacea 475 for some leisurely boating, experiencing the beauty of the area by water. We didn't have anybody else bothering us. It was rather, rather, rather rough. We had four to sixes, I'm going to say, and, and the boat just did wonderfully. We got there and always had full control. And, comfortable ride and we enjoyed it. We saw that the Panacea could handle high seas as well as maneuver shallow waters of this area. Yeah, I remember reading about whaling and I heard of Nantucket sleigh rides and I think that can happen here more often than it does down in Florida. So our boats are really good at, good at handling stuff like that up here. Yeah, the, 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 the thing that's different about the Panacea and I had a 390 sport yacht before is that it handles like a small boat. I mean, it's uh, very agile, uh, you know, you can make quick turns, but that 47 feet, uh, you know, on a day like yesterday where you've got waves coming at you in every direction, you know, gives you both the length and the beam of the boat, uh, you know, to handle anything that you're gonna put in front of it. So uh, I, I liken it to, you know, a small boat that, uh, that has great length and, and uh, you can really, you know, take it out with one person. I, I, I often take the boat out by myself. Uh, I'm very comfortable, you know, going into docks and the setup that I got on my boat is just unbelievable. Sure, with rough conditions, it's nice to have a boat that's a bit longer. The 47 that uh, has the waterline length and allows us to hit the waves a little easier than we would if we were in a shorter boat yesterday. On a day like yesterday, it's really important to have as big a boat as you can. It was a, a great way to ride. So we've set up Steve's boat so that it has all the latest and greatest in maneuvering technology. It's got a, a bow and stern thruster that are proportionally controlled and they're networked into the ZF joystick that controls the engines. So he can put that boat on a dime anywhere he wants, in any direction he wants, into the wind, away from the wind, whichever way he likes. We were able to pull right alongside the dock. You know, the, the object always is to have the bow and the stern at the same distance from the dock, and Steve was able to do that perfectly yesterday, despite the fact that we had 20, maybe 25 knots of wind blowing us in all kinds of directions. Both Intrepid sponsored fishing teams had a wonderful spring kingfish season. Both teams fished the first and second leg of the Wild West Fishing Tournament and brought fish to the scales. You know, we got Captain Jim Kelly on Team FLIR. Uh, he's a guy that's very passionate about fishing. Not only does he do it professionally, you know, he does it, uh, you know, for recreation. He just enjoys it. And the fact that we were able to, to team up with him and have him represent us the way that he does, you know, and also making Joe a part of that team makes a you know, big difference. Team Old School with Ronnie and Paul, you know, running a, a 1987 30-foot boat. Uh, it's, it's cool. It's cool to watch them out there running that boat, knowing that it's built basically with the same kind of materials and glass and core and hand layup that we do to this day is a real testament to our product and our boats uh, over a, a, a long period of time. These competitors fish the waters on the Gulf Coast and are bringing in some amazing sized kingfish.
This show is being brought to you by Ashland, proud manufacturer of AME Premium Resins and MaxGuard Premium Gel Coats for the world's best boat builders. Seven Marine, the most powerful outboards on the planet. Electronics Unlimited, world innovators in marine electronics. Vetus Maxwell, creator of boat systems. The Wild West Tournament is one of the most exciting fishing tournaments in the area because of their format. 40 of the best fishing teams in the country commit to fishing all four legs of this tournament series with shotgun starts at safe morning light. These competitors fish the waters on the Gulf Coast and are bringing in some amazing sized kingfish. Angler Armory and Intrepid sponsor this series and it's growing every single year in popularity where locals and tourists alike attend the weigh-in to see these big kingfish. Yeah, we, what we do here at the Wild West, it's a little different, but all of our boats get in up front and they're fishing a four tournament series. So having said that, it's a big commitment on their part. They've got to move work schedules around, dates around. I mean, it really drives into their lives. You know, they're not at a birthday party. They're not celebrating anything. They are out here king fishing as a family and a team at the Wild West. So with 40 boats and 200 guys, it's a phenomenal thing to see here at the Wild West, back at the scales, what these teams come up with. Each boat is inspected prior to the start to make sure that the day's catch is legitimate. So to start out the Wild West, it's very simple. They come through an inspection in the morning, they go offshore, they wait for their shotgun start, we follow them out with our Intrepid checkout boat, and then we release our teams and they go fishing. Fish on! Fish on! Up top! Reel them in, pretty broad, let's go! Come on, put a rod. Put a rod. I know, bitch. He hit that thing like a fucking serious. That's alright. Without underestimating anything. Come on, boys, get him cleared. Yeah, I'm running out of line. I know, I thought you hit it very hard. He's still there. He's still there. Now he knows he's hooked. Alright. Tight now? Yes. Okay. He's like that, go that way. Feels like a wahoo. What? Feels like a wahoo. I don't know. He did take a lot of line. He might have some size, he's, you know. Coming up. I don't see it, but he's coming up. Over there to the right. I saw a flash. I see a flash. Got color. All right, goes on the wheel. Welcome back to Intrepid Power Boats on the Water. Today's tender boats are used for shuttling guests of the mega yachts to town, for sport fishing, island hopping, diving, and other recreational sports. So the yacht owners want the luxuries and custom features of their tenders to be of the same high standards they are used to on the yachts. We're well known once again for you know doing custom build work for, for customers, and sometimes. They get more custom than others. And we had a customer come to us who uh, did a lot of surfing that wanted to be able to have a jet ski that would uh, be launched from a Panacea for surfing purposes and retrieval. So when we were able to come up with a design that made sense to him about sinking a jet ski into the forward side of that console and then 
being able to do a crane system that would retrieve it and deploy it, uh, he thought it was awesome. He thought it was a great idea. Uh, he said if, if we could pull it off. And uh, it turned out really nice. Not only did it turn out nice, uh, the captain said it exceeded his expectation, which was what we always shoot for. You know, we always get people that come in with a vision and they tell us, you know, this is what we want to do and this is what we're trying to do. And we always try to go around and, and make it better than they even imagined. Intrepid has always been a leader in the tender market because of the construction of the Intrepid can handle the punishment of being towed in all kinds of sea conditions. So the gentleman I work for, uh, he's, he's, a, he's a pro surfer, he's surfed all around the world and really when he gets up in the morning he wants to get to a surf spot uh, before the big boat gets there and then of course an hour or two later the big boat will arrive and, and be with him and that was the main purpose of the boat. Um, he also has a home here and wants to enjoy it on the intercoastal and here in the Keys and uh, perhaps back and forth to Bimini. The uh, collaboration with the owner, which was purely through telephone call to me and then myself trying to put it on paper with Intrepid and we worked together and we came up with the Panacea 47 as the boat to, uh, to build with the uh, jet ski on it. So we, we, put, we, put, we sat around the round table with, uh, with the broker and the guys from in, Intrepid and uh, we essentially were thinking outside the box and we mastered that. We knew where we wanted to put the jet ski. It was uh, what the owner wanted and we put it together and here we are at the uh, end of seven months and we have, uh, we're on the Panacea as we speak now on the 47 Panacea Intrepid with a jet ski on it. I think, I think it's a great boat um, and I say that because we sea trialed it last week and the, the sea trial was successful. We uh, did speeds above 60 knots and uh, we were in two to three foot waves and it just, just handled like a, a freight train on rails. It was actually pretty impressive. When, when you look at a project like that, you're looking about setting a jet ski into a console, there's a lot of structural stuff that has to take place. Not only do you have to recess it, you need to be able to make sure it's going to be able to take the weight, the G-load of the boat going off of a wave with that weight on top of it, never mind taking a crane that's all the way out on the starboard gunnel that comes out from under the gunnel and it has to deploy this jet ski and hang that much weight off the very side gunnel of a boat is an amazing amount of force. So the engineering that went into that was, was crucial, you know, there was a lot of thought put behind it and, uh, you know, we're, we're really pleased on how that all turned out. The tender market is a big part of Intrepid's business and that's why at the Miami Boat Show they had a full lineup of their boats on the water on Collins Avenue, surrounded by some of these beautiful yachts. This show has been brought to you by Langer Krell, Florida's longest running marine electronics dealer for over 45 years. Pompanet, defining excellence since 1948. Mercury, go boldly. Bennett Marine, the world leader in trim tab innovation, quality and service. Yeah, our client base is, it goes from anywhere from uh, movie stars and actresses and, and uh, rock and roll stars and athletes and, and, and business owners. Um, what's nice is they come to us because we're able to build what they want. In a lot of cases, what they want is possibly a tender. And a tender basically is a boat that they'll either put in or on the mega yacht or they will tow it behind it. Nine times out of 10, they'll tow it behind it. And that's really where we started to get our reputation uh, from the get-go with this company was building a tender that would survive. 
What happens with a tender boat is you're pulling it behind, who knows, a 140 foot, 200 foot boat in some cases, and there could be 10 foot seas. You know, 10 foot seas and that large mega yacht can handle those kind of seas. And you gotta remember, now there's a line running behind this boat in these rough waters. And there's possibly a 32 foot, 37 foot boat uh, hanging on this line going through the, these rough seas. That is probably the worst punishment that you can give any type of boat is being a tender. And many, many years ago when we were getting into this, um, most boat companies didn't want to build tenders because the, uh, the, the boats used to get destroyed. So we figured that if, if you can build a boat that's strong enough to be a tender, but build every boat that way so everybody gets a boat strong enough to be a tender, that would be an amazing product. And, and what we did is we decided that let's not run away from the tender market like everybody else. This is a market that's open for the taking, but you better build a strong boat. You better build a boat that can take the punishment. With strict regulations being placed on the yacht owners and because they are consuming more and more gasoline, the new trend in the boating industry is to want a diesel-fueled engine for the tenders. This allows captains to pull diesel fuel straight from their tanks on board the ship to use for various activities with their tenders. Owners and captains are reluctant to use fuel from some parts of the world because they can't be assured the fuel is clean. Intrepid, being known as an innovator, created this diesel inboard outboard to meet the tender market demand. What we have here is uh, another special project that we do. Uh, this is part of our tender fleet for the mega yachts. Um, this has got a pair of Volvo stern drive diesels installed, which is not normal for Intrepid power boats, but we cater to all the, the mega yachts. We love doing the tenders for them. Um, this special project is done for a fairly large yacht. Um, the reason they switched to the diesels it's getting really hard for the, the larger new yachts to carry gasoline on board. Uh, so it's, it's a trend that's kind of, uh, it's a shifting trend that we see moving towards diesels. The reason we chose the stern drive package is it still gives the, uh, the 40 open shallow water, uh, draft, short shallow draft characteristics. They can still run up on the beaches. Uh, we do custom bow ladders for everybody because basically they use the tender to, to just kind of run people around to all the different islands. So it's really important that you know they have shallow draft and that they can pull up in shallow water up to a beach. Um, that way all the people on board get to do their exploring with it. Um, we've done uh, several of these. Um, the performance is with the dual prop Volvos is, is substantially good on our boats. I mean the boat runs over 50 cruises at 40 and gets 2.5 uh, miles per gallon. Um, you know, it's, uh, we've actually do an extension on the hull uh, and custom molded in platform. So it really makes a good base for the captains to run people around. Intrepid has established a great network of service through Hyannis Marina and even did a soft launch last year of the new evolution in Hyannis and its neighboring islands. The launch party was a huge success and the new model was well received. The size and maneuverability bundled with the climate controlled cabin on the new evolution will allow boat owners to extend their boating season into the colder days of the fall. The size of this boat handles the rough seas and provides a safe ride, even though high seas and storms can blow in fast in the area. Um, my initial thoughts is it's, it's the next step for them. It's just, it's classy. It's going from where they are to the next step where it's, it's more plush for the, the day boater and it's, the performance of it is amazing. It's going to be a great fit. Um, the windshield on that boat, from the clients that I've spoke with already, love it. I mean, there's the, the view, the, the performance, everything about the boat is phenomenal. With the, with the air conditioning, with the heating, you're going to get more time on the water here. Because of the, the climate change here, 
in the spring. You'll need the heat you know, this time of the year in the summer, it'll be air conditioned. And then in the fall, if you want to do some fall boating, which is the best here after Labor Day, you're going to have the best of both worlds. You're going to have the heat. If it's a nice, hot, sunny day, you can throw the AC on. So you're going to get a lot more out of the boat. You know, with the, the prevailing wind here, we have a southwest wind. And it, it does, it, the seas do pick up quite a bit. We'll run to three to five foot seas. And that 40, 41 will, will eat right through that. A lot of people, they do a lot of fishing, a lot of recreational boating. Um, you know, in, in this part, we see a lot of tuna fishing coming in, but I would say it's about a 50-50 between pleasure boats and fishing. Most definitely. That's, this is what that one's all about, is entertaining. Next week on Intrepid Power Boats on the Water, We'll be back in the Gulf of Mexico for the 2016 Kingfish Classic. The weather predictions are not in favor of the anglers this weekend. Big seas are predicted. Fishing strategies will definitely make or break this week's tournament.